Hello everyone, my name is Tori and welcome to the People Asked segment. Today I'll be answering the question, what is the difference between an independent agent and a captive agent? Let's dive into it. A captive agent is somebody who is contracted to only sell products with only one insurance company. So typically these are people who are like with, let's say State Farm, American Family, and you know, uh, sometimes even like uh, mutual company or investment companies that don't want that agent to sell any other product other than what they have within their company. While an independent agent, you basically be, um, act as a broker, which means you can contract with as many insurance companies as possible or as much as you can handle, right? So which one is better? All right, let's dive a little bit deep into that. If you're a captive agent, usually the companies will, like the state farms or the American families, will give you a contract that they pay you a best pay, let's say 30000 a year, plus commission. So even if your sales are low, you still make the 30, you, you still make the best pay, whatever that is monthly. And then whatever you sell as far as the policies becomes your extra cash on top of your base pay. This is a great way to start just because if you live alone or you're really tight on cash, it kind of gives you some budgeting idea of how much you're going to be bringing in to at least pay your rent and your basic, you know, living expenses, right? While if you are an independent agent or a broker, you are most of the times a hundred percent on commission. So, which means if you have a month where you do not sell anything, you do not get any money at all. You do not get any money at all. So, it's very important to understand what you are looking for as far as your compensation. Another thing also um, that is different between a captive agent versus an independent agent is that when you're a captive agent, your book of business belongs to the parent company, to the company you are contracted with. So um, if at any point you decide that you want to go ahead and exit the business, that entire book of business is going to go back to the company that you're contracted with. On the other hand, if you are an independent agent, if you decide to get out of business, you have the option of just dropping everything and letting the companies handle those policies. They may transfer them to somebody else or you can have that book of business sold to another agent, right? So you can have all of that sold to another agent and then you walk away with some cash. So which is kind of a little bit better because then all your efforts and your investments will have paid out or, you know, would have paid off. Otherwise, you're completely out of, you know, you lose everything. Um, so in my case, I was both a captive agent and also an independent agent. And my preference would be to be an independent agent because you're forced to get yourself together. Um, and on top of that, you own everything that you're putting in. You don't, you don't have the risk of losing your business to the company that you're contracted with. So again, I hope what I've just shared with you will actually help you kind of make a decision which direction that you want to go with, the one that is, you know, base pay plus commission or strictly commission. But either way, there's no wrong way. It just depends on your intention and, um, and whatever your goals are. So if this was helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button because I'll be uploading more videos on this kind of topics so that you can make an educated decision as you're setting up your business. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.